Just one nuclear weapon exploded in a city, be it New York or Moscow, Tokyo or Beijing, London or Paris, could kill hundreds of thousands of people. And it would badly destabilize our security, our economies, and our very way of life. The Obama administration has said that one of its goals in working with the United Nations was to help prevent the spread of nuclear weapons. Thursday, President Obama chaired a historic meeting of the Security Council. It's historic because the presidents and heads of state don't usually sit around that famous table. It's only the fifth time they've done it since the United Nations was founded. I called for this one so that we may address, at the highest level, a fundamental threat to the security of all peoples and all nations, the spread and use of nuclear weapons. The American resolution passed unanimously today. Once more, the United Nations has a pivotal role to play in preventing this crisis. The historic resolution we just adopted enshrines our shared commitment to the goal of a world without nuclear weapons. You know, the basic tenor of all the speeches was sort of the hope for a world free of nuclear weapons. But President Sarkozy of France sort of tried to add a dash of reality by saying those kind of dreams which he support are all well and good, but there are two crises of nuclear proliferation right now, one with North Korea and one with Iran, and they had to be addressed. But what has it brought the international community? Nothing at all. Just more enriched uranium, more centrifugal Last machines but not and, least, in addition, last but not least, une déclaration des dirigeants iraniens a declaration de rayer de la carte un by de the des leaders of Iran, a proposal to que wipe a UN member state off the map. What Quelle are we doing about that? What are we to think? And the British Prime Minister Gordon Brown also weighed in on Iran. He said that sanctions should be strengthened. Today, I believe we have to draw a line in the sand. Iran must not allow its actions to prevent the international community from moving forward to a more peaceful era. The Iranian mission to the United Nations uh, issued an immediate statement as soon as the Security Council meeting was over saying that, you know, the claims that the French president made were preposterous, that they were just trying to seek um, peaceful nuclear energy and it was their right under the non-proliferation treaty, which it is. There wasn't a lot new in the resolution and it certainly didn't strengthen any of the sanctions against Iran or North Korea, which are the immediate crises. But um, those involved with creating it said that the, the goal is sort of to get the world focused on the issue again, and that's basically what the, what the resolution today did. Yeah.